Right now at 4.30, we're learning new details about the suspect in the Dalton shooting that left four injured last month. The Cook County Sheriff's Office says he was on electronic monitoring while waiting for a murder trial. NBC5's Courtney Sisk is sharing more about a provision in the Safety Act that allowed him to move around unmonitored that day. It's been one week since four people were shot outside of this auto zone in Dalton. The two vehicles involved riddled with bullet holes. The Cook County Sheriff's Office says one of the shooting suspects, 30-year-old Tori Lewis, is currently charged with murdering a paralyzed man in a wheelchair outside of a movie theater in Country Club Hills in 2017. Though he is out on electronic monitoring while waiting for his murder trial. And here's yet another case of someone, while the device is shut off, goes out and commits crimes. It's Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart frustrated to see the outcome in Dalton. He says officers found Lewis shot and injured in the driver's seat of a stolen Nissan Maxima. A rifle and handgun were in the passenger seat. Dart says a lesser known provision of the Safety Act, a criminal justice reform measure passed in 2021, allows anyone in Illinois on electronic monitoring to shut off their device for two days each week to conduct basic activities like grocery shop, attend job interviews, or religious events. Here we just have people going wherever they want for two days for reasons we never understood. He says Lewis was part of the Dalton shooting on one of his free movement days where the sheriff's office could not track him in real time. Dart believes the provision does more harm than good. And people are getting hurt. Real people are getting hurt and people need to wake up and say, listen, all right, we got some parts of the law really right. It, it, it's great. They're working well. Things are good. This part here is not working well. We need to change it. According to the sheriff's office, there are currently 1,664 people in Cook County on electronic monitoring. 120 of them are facing murder or attempted murder charges, and 1,300 of them are held on other violent charges, including weapons and sexual assault related crimes. These are not people that we need to shut devices off, close our eyes for two days and then see what happens. Reporting downtown, Courtney Sisk, NBC5 News.